Factory folks, Paul Chamberlain, coming to you from Beckley's Canvic Center here in Thurmont, Maryland. That's Frederick County, Maryland. We're just 30 minutes south of Gettysburg, PA. And I'm going to talk to you today about, this is the 3601 LF Volante fifth wheel. This is by Crossroads. This is a bunkhouse model. Gross weight on it, you're looking at uh, gross weight to be about 14.5. Dry weight to be about 12.9. So let's talk about here. This is gonna be your service center on this side. Look at all that storage, accessible from both sides. But this is where you go ahead and um, be able to have your uh, black tank pull, uh, your gray, hook up your city water, have an outside shower, fill your fresh water tank. Also has a black tank rinse. This is gonna have your Atwood water heater. Nice thing about that Atwood water heater is both gas and electric. That'll give you almost 18 gallons of hot water an hour if you use it properly. This is going to come with the LCI leveling system. So this is a self-leveling uh, system on this particular model. And you do have, it is solar charge ready. You can put it uh, up to a 10 amp um, solar panel. And that'll keep your uh, batteries a little bit charge, more charge. This will be with two batteries. The reason why it's a 3601, that's your residential refrigerator. It does come with an RV style refrigerator and that would be the 360 LF. So you see on this side, again, access to your storage. This door's gonna be a little wider. And of course you see this little thing here. This is so that you can put wires. If you decided you wanted to hook a TV up and bring it outside or something else, you have access to that. This door, the nice thing about this door is the fact that it, it's a magnet to hold it up. The beauty of that is that, you know, typically you might have something in your hand, so you're able to open that door, just swing it up. You don't have to worry about um, trying to get the holder to take care of it. Now, this will come with an outside kitchen, so you'll have that as well. Well, let's go inside and take a look here at the inside. The outside stereo speakers, your awning, awning lights, and so forth. So you see as you come in, what you have is you're coming into your living area. This one has the freestanding dinette. You can get it with a dinette booth. Uh, this is a sofa that pulls out uh, to a bed. Nice counter. You know, you have this uh, solid surface countertops. Look at all the storage you have in this island. More storage on that side. Notice how you have a 110 outlet down here, as well as USB ports. You know, so many of these RVs today, they'll put the um, 110 outlet up here, you know, and if you're uh, trying to enjoy some coffee, that cord's not fitting, so you got to get an extension cord or something along those lines. This has come with a residential Whirlpool refrigerator, so you'll be able to take all kinds of food with you. Your oven, three burner cooktop, it's vented to the outside. And look at how much room you have between the oven and your fan there. You know, so many of these, they're, they're, they're shrunk and they're tiny and it just create some issues when you're cool, when you're trying to cook. And of course your microwave, and you can see the cabinetry that you have in here. So you're, this is where your control center is. So for all your slides, notice this is a five slide unit and this has has um, of course all your all your controls right here nice thing is out of sight out of mind keeps little Johnny from messing with it TV this is your AM FM CD stereo with the DVD player and I know some people will say oh what do you need a fireplace for when you're camping but I tell you what this is 110 powered and I'm telling you folks you turn this thing on and it will heat up this room. It does a phenomenal job. So it is beneficial. These bl uh, the, the, Your uh, blinds for the windows, it's pretty awesome. So they just pull down like your normal shades, but look at their wood. So it gives you that residential feel. You have a pantry back here for your stuff here in the kitchen. And of course, then all the other cabinets that you saw that were in here. So this is the kitchen. Just gonna do one last little round through here. As you can see, plenty of space for you. 
Take a look at the floor. You see your heat ducts through here. This one's going to be a 50 amp system and you'll have um, two ACs. So now coming back into the bunk area, this has the jackknife or futon style sofa and that has the um, little trundle bed that pulls out. Your, um, your bunk bed here on this slide out as well as over here and that's where your outside kitchen is below that. You know, these are 300 pounds. They'll hold up to 300 pounds of people. So you can see that's what your, that slide out looks like. So you have two slides here in this bunkhouse. Nice thing I like about this ladder for this um, bunk bed, this, what you'd call a loft bed up above, is the fact that it's on the side here. It makes it much easier for the, for the children to be climbing in and out of that bed. And you can see there's nice storage up top here. Of course, I know it's a little dark. We're able to get those lights turned on, but that's a nice little area. Gives them plenty of space to um, spread out. You can see your second AC is actually in the kids' room, so that way there they can be in here. They can rough house, do all that good stuff, and they're not going to be real hot. Now, here's the beauty of this particular uh, fifth wheel. You have it is two full baths, so the kids have their own own bathroom. Nice thing mom and dad like about that. That way there they have a chore. They can clean their own bathroom. And here's their shower back here. Nice and tall. You've got the cabinetry space back here. And if you really need to, you can even put a washer dryer back here. It's already set up for the washer and dryer, as you can see. So that is in this bathroom. And then, of course, you have the door to go outside. So the beauty of this, when you're camping, you don't have to go trouncing through the camper to get to the bathroom. So again, this is the 3601LF Volante by Crossroads. This is the rear bath. Now let's go on up into the front of the coach. We'll take a look at the master bath and the master bedroom. So you see as you're going up the hallway here, again, you have a window in the hallway, which is nice. See the... the um, the bedroom, you have the queen bed in the slide out and windows on either side of the bed. So there, if you want some cross ventilation, you can do that. Uh, storage under the bed and then look at how much storage you have in the, I mean, this is like a walk-in closet, folks. I mean, it has all kinds of storage, as you can see. You know, so if dad wants to bring all the, that shoe collection with them, he can. Um, as you can see, you even have a little dresser here with some drawers. You can mount your TV on the wall, or you can just set it right there on the top. Now, of course, for the bathroom, you have access from the hallway, but you also have access from the bedroom. So as you can see, as you walk in, that's the corner type shower. Has a little foot rest there. For those of you who need to, you know, wash or shave your legs, nice porcelain toilet. You know, you have the vent in here, your skylight. It does have uh, the medicine cabinet. You can see your sink with uh, storage below that as well. So this is, again, the 3601 Volante by Crossroads. I hope you enjoyed the video. And just remember, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, when and if you call, if you stop by, if you email, just ask for Paul Chamberlain. Be more than happy to you know, show you this or any other RV that may interest you. Thanks for watching, and we'll be coming back at you again shortly.